Hi, I'm Jonathan Boyd. Functional is a compound word consisting of the root words fun and cushional. The bow spring alignment positions the body for functional, active, everyday living. Standing, walking, running, lifting, reaching, jumping, and even inflating a boat. It is different than a posture for resting and relaxing and it makes traditional yoga poses more active and functional. For example, in classical yoga, to move from triangle pose to half moon pose requires an extra stage, commonly known as bending your knee. In bowspring, the knee is already bent, so in some ways, it's the pose within the poses of traditional yoga. Whoa, a pose within a pose within a pose? Sounds like a matrix. The bent knee creates a dynamic state of readiness. You could lift either the back foot or the front foot. It's like the Boy Scouts. Be prepared. Poses in the level one syllabus position the elbows in the front plane of the body. There are few times in daily life that the elbows actually move to the back plane, scratching your back or after using the toilet. Unless you're in Japan, the toilets do that work for you. Plus, the seats are heated, making it extra comfortable. It's common knowledge not to lift heavy objects with the back. Instead, use the legs for power while maintaining the natural curvatures of the spine. Speaking of the toes, why is there an emphasis on lifting the toes in a yoga pose? Really, why? It would seem silly to see someone walk, run, or jump with their toes lifted. So why is it so common in asanas? What about jazz hands? Is there any functional purpose for jazz hands beyond dancing? Instead, seed hand is a more useful position for holding a hammer, using a cutting knife, playing jeopardy, lifting a suitcase, pulling open a door, or battling in a sumo competition. There are more examples in daily life where bowspring alignment is functional. Sitting down or lifting up from a chair, also useful for the toilet, except in Japan, the toilet does that for you too. Tying your shoelaces, lying down onto your back without rounding the lower spine, folding laundry, and the zombie apocalypse. It's time to think inside the box, uh, outside the box, and move beyond conventional boundaries and comforts of pre-existing alignment. When is flexible too flexible? What's the purpose without corresponding functional strength? To practice videos that are both fun and cushional, visit my Vimeo On Demand page.